Hi, so I'm Carly Kathy, and in this video I'd like to talk with you about grief. Don't let anyone tell you how you should grieve. Don't let anyone tell you how long you should grieve for. And don't let anyone tell you that you should have gotten over it by now and be moving on with your life. I don't believe you get over grief. What I believe instead is that you learn to live with it. My personal journey with grief has not been through losing someone who was close to me or losing someone who I spent a lot of time with. My journey in grief was over losing the baby that was never born, the baby that was never even conceived. And not just once, but every month for a decade. And even sometimes still now, I wonder if when my period is late, if I might finally have miraculously gotten pregnant. And there's that piece of me still that every month is like, well, perhaps I still haven't run out of time yet. Even though on the whole, I feel like this is something that I'm in surrender to. But it's not something I'll ever get over. It's just something that I've learned to live with. And I've learned to ask, well, if not that, then what? If not that life, then which life? If not that path, then which path? And life generally shows up when I ask these kinds of questions <clears throat> and shows me the way and a path unfolds. For others of you, your grief might be more about the loss of someone that was very close to you. <clears throat> and when we lose someone close to us that we've spent a lot of time with that knew us intimately, there's another process that goes on which means life is not the same again. And life will never be the same again. Or life will never be the different thing that you wanted it to be due to the loss that occurred. And whatever the said loss was for you personally, my strategy for managing grief is to find ways to allow the aliveness of that dream or that person to live within you. To find a way to, to engage with life that would make that other person happy or that other being happy. I've gotten to a beautiful stage with the unincarnated spirit of my unborn child, my unconceived child. We have a very interesting relationship and I'm starting to think that perhaps this particular being never really intended to incarnate at all and it's not my fault. But instead this is a kindred spirit, soulmate kind of relationship that is guiding and supporting me and leading me in ways that have been challenging and traumatic and dramatic and so much has gone on but there's a fuel in me now that I've gotten from this relationship with this spirit, this soul. And I want for you to find that too, if that's been your path, and I'd love to help you explore grief and however it's unfolding in your life path at this time, because there is a silver lining in it. And I know it can be really hard to find it. For me, it was, it took a long time, but there is a silver lining and I offer you the container that I can hold for you so that you can work that out in your own unique way. Because only you knows what you really need. Only you knows what you're really feeling. And only you knows what it's like to really be on the path that you're on. And for me, it was a, it was a long, lonely path that no one else really understood at all because there's not that framework for that kind of grief. And the framework that we have for other kinds of grieving is tricky. People don't know how to manage it because everyone's so afraid of death. And I hope it's okay that I say that, but I think we live in a society where that is the case. So we don't know how to talk about it. We don't know how to live through it. And I'd like to help you live through it. To find out more, 
about how I can help you live through whatever it is you're going through right now, go to sacredhypnogoddess.com.